No, and again, I wish I'd have done that. You know, I'm very envious of my classmates who went off to Freiburg or Lausanne or, you know, took the experience because I think their development happened more quickly. I think it was that period of time abroad that opened them to ideas. It's the journey is the destination. Uh, you don't know where you're going to go, but you want to be open to the idea that you can go anywhere. If someone had told me growing up in a town of 15,000 in northern Indiana that I would spend 40 years living outside the United States, first in Canada and then in Britain and traveling the world, I would have told them that that was absolutely an impossible notion. So I think you want to really be open to the idea that once you leave here, you can go anywhere. And you're fortunate enough to actually to make that happen. And I think the best experience is to get out of the United States, see other cultures, meet other people, see what kind of a world it is out there, and I think it makes you a better person. I was a Romance language major, which then I left here and went to University of Michigan in audiology and speech pathology. Off campus, I, was, I studied at Laval University one summer, and then the following summer I studied at a school in Mexico. Dr. Hans Gruninger at the time was trying to encourage me to go to Germany, but I, I came from Munich American High School to DePaul, so I'd had that, but I sort of wish that I had done that also. I uh, did the London winter term my junior year and wish I'd had this uh, chance to study abroad for a semester, but that just wasn't possible for me. But the London winter term experience really opened my eyes to uh, traveling, which is something my husband and I still enjoy doing. Uh, haven't had the opportunity to travel as much as we would like to, but uh, we're starting to get to that time in, we're, in our life where we're starting to explore that. But I think there's really something to be said about being in another culture and being the person that's different and having that uncomfortableness about navigating and getting around and not being quite sh quite sure of what you're doing. I think that made me very empathetic to people that come into our culture uh, that have the same anxieties and the same fears when they're trying to figure out how, how to navigate uh, simple things like transportation and ordering something off of the menu and traveling, uh, not being able to read the signs, or even in London, even though it was English, you know, the verbiage was different, uh, exit was way out, <laughs> you know, I mean, that was just something that was, was very different, and I think until you have that experience and you can really be uncomfortable, I really think that you're missing a lot about understanding the world until you've had that experience yourself.